Welcome to day two of uh, this devotion. You know, this week we are talking about seeking the Lord. And uh, our key verse is, uh, is uh, Second Chronicle chapter 26. We are talking about King Uzziah. Then uh, the book of Matthew 6, chapter, chapter, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all oh, these other things shall be added unto, unto you. So yesterday, I remember telling us that uh, as long as King Uzziah sought the Lord, he, he prospered. So if you continue seeking the Lord, prosperity will be your portion. All forms of prosperity. So today, I want, us to, I want you to know that King Uzziah sought the Lord as, uh, as King Uzziah sought the Lord, people gave gifts to him. As King Uzziah sought the Lord, people gave gifts to him. And that one is seen in the book of Second, in the book of Second uh, Chronicle, chapter twenty-six, verse eight, verse eight. And the word of the Lord says that, and the Ammonite gave gifts to Uzziah. Zia, and his name spread abroad, even to the uh, to the to the uh, entering in of Egypt, for he strengthened himself exceedingly. He strengthened himself exceedingly. Now, people blessed this king as long as he sought the Lord. People gave gifts to him. Let me tell you, it is God who causes men to minister unto us. It is God who causes men to give us gifts. He talked with men. He gave them that desire to minister to you, to give you something. People just don't give you. There's something that is causing them to, to give you. And God is the one who is causing people to give you. He talks with them through dreams and vision. He talks with them through angelic visitation. Just to come and minister to you. I know some of us have received gifts. And those men told us that the Lord spoke to them to come and and be a blessing to us. So, men will bless you with their energy and resources. As long as you keep seeking the Lord, He will add things unto you. He will cause men to bless you. He will cause men to bless you with their energy and resources. He will cause men to bless you with their money. Cause men to give you their money. It will cause men to, to, to invest in you. It will cause men to bless you with their time. With their time. That men will, will, will want to, to help you. Men will want to, to give you a shoulder to lean on, but in bearers. I want you to know that it is God who brings burden bearers in the lives of men. He introduces men to us. Just like we said yesterday that don't fight to know God. Don't fight to know men. Fight to know God. Then God will cause men to know you. After causing men to know you, he will cause these men to give unto you. Listen to, if you read the story of King Solomon, you will discover that as long as King Solomon was seeking the Lord, God gave him prosperity. As long as he sought the Lord, God gave him prosperity. So men came from far away to come and minister. To who? To come and minister to Solomon. Far away, far away to come and be a blessing to Solomon. Because God put that desire in them to go and minister to Solomon. 
When baby Jesus was born, still young, less than a month, less than two weeks, less than a week, when he was born, men were there to minister unto him. Remember, even before he was born, these men had already started their journey. Even before he was born, these men, they were on their way. Following a star. Because they have seen that a king is going to be born. So they wanted to identify this king. They wanted to minister to this king. So the, the, the wise men, remember that these were not just men. These were wise men. These were wise men. So it is not easy for three wise people to make a decision that they are coming to minister unto. God spoke to them. God guided them. Using the star. And they were able to locate baby Jesus. And, and the, to them it, it, it did not matter. It, they didn't mind where baby Jesus was born. In a cow shed. To them it was nothing. Because God had already put that desire. God had already told them you need to minister to this, to this baby. These are kings. So they, they were there with expensive things. They were there with gold. They were there with valuable things. Oh, they were there to minister unto baby Jesus. They were there to worship him. And they were there because God told them that you need to search for this baby and you need to minister to this baby. After ministering to the baby, while they were still, while they were still in town, God spoke to them. He said, hey, you have to change course. You have to change course. Don't go back to the king because the king is, will search for this baby to kill him. Please change course. Use another route. Use another route. That is an evident that God was behind the scene guiding these three, these men to go and minister to baby Jesus. It is God who caused men to minister unto us. So I want you to know, for that to happen, for God to touch men to minister unto you, for God to, 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 to speak to men in their dreams as they are sleeping to minister unto you, you have to, you have to seek him. You have to seek him. You have to worship him in truth and spirit. You have to seek him. That's why I'm just telling you that as Isaiah sought the Lord, people gave gifts to him. As you continue seeking the Lord, people will give gifts unto you. People are always ready to give. They are just waiting for instruction. They are just waiting for God to speak to them. And you see how people will pour into you. How people will give you their time. How people will give you their resources. How people will give you their energy. How people will be investing in you. Because God is speaking. God is guiding them. God is whispering to them. Continue seeking him. And he'll add this thing unto you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Give us that zeal to continue seeking. Give us that passion to continue seeking you, Lord. That desire in the mighty name of Jesus. We soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus. We pray that you give us a blessed week, our Father.